Now at 5.30 tonight, full steam ahead is the word from Electric Boat as the world's largest submarine builder continues to expand in southeast Connecticut. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan is live with the Mobile Newsroom with what they're planning to do right now. Kevin? Well, the future is bright, Denise. The bright lights behind me, that is Electric Boat across the harbor there. And on hand today were a lot of leaders, including Governor Ned Lamont. It was his first official public appearance, embracing Electric Boat's projected future. Electric Boat and its growing workforce is having a huge impact in southeast Connecticut. 17,000 people are employed today, and 1,400 more are needed this year alone to design and build the next generation of submarines, the Columbia class. Today, in his first official visit as governor, Ned Lamont made a promise to the region's leaders. To make sure that you have the best trained, best educated, most inventive workforce in the world, to make sure you keep your qualitative advantage, and that's my number one obligation to do for you going forward. 14,000 have been hired since 2011, ramping up for the Virginia-class subs. 17,000 today, and by the middle of the 2020s, EB will need thousands of skilled workers to build the world's stealthiest vessels for the Navy. It's really one of the most positive, uh, persistent um, areas of growth in the state of Connecticut. 446 Connecticut companies alone are part of the electric boat supply chain, thus employing more people. Everyone is working well together. We're all very eager to make sure we provide the supply chain that's necessary. We have a supply, supply chain organization now that's working through a trip. As for supply in the workforce, Electric Boat has spent years cultivating new talent through regional educators, the technical high schools and colleges, including Three Rivers in Norwich. The Eastern Connecticut Workforce Investment Board has been instrumental in recruiting qualified talent for EB and other Connecticut industries. They've reached out to the community and said, let's form a partnership. And that's what we've done. Now, to support that workforce, local lawmakers are working on more housing and the infrastructure of transportation. Live at the Mobile News from New London, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.